welcome back to a new episode of the freebie wednesdays in today's freebie wednesdays as you have seen i said yesterday that this one was going to be related to the sort of like slideshow style of video so let me just show you right away what we have it looks a little bit crazy right now but once i explain <clears throat> it should be fine so you can see here the grid that we have on this side it's basically it's indicated here low left low mid low right these are each of each one of these each one of these right and then what you can do is basically you can apply your images so basically you can have up to six images um up, actually up to nine images different images or even videos if you have all you gotta do is basically just drag here your media file your photo or your video and then you simply just link it to whichever you want you can link the same file to different um image planes here um and yeah that is pretty much it i recommend you that you don't like play around with the movement of these because it was pretty hard to make them um sort of like aligned and yeah so then what you do is basically you can play around with the camera by animating it and going the way whatever you want so basically for the camera animation right now here is on top of view it's in the front view but if you if we look at perspective this is what we can see right the reason for me putting it as the front view is because here let me just remove all the animations from our camera right here let me just set everything to um default uh, remove all here remove and then if we set it to default it's gonna be right on the same line so we're just gonna go back and set these ones uh, the reason for this is that the camera default was gonna be right here so right now it's center right but we took all the animation out so then right now you see the big picture of all of the things if we bring the camera closer by moving these, we can align it to be right in the middle picture that we have. And then once you align, align it to whichever picture that you have, you simply create the keyframe and then by animating the translate uh, group right here, and it's not centered completely. So we're gonna have to adjust this a little bit And right now I'm lagging a little bit for some reason. Okay, that's fine. So let's say you got your image right here in the middle. That's where you start. And you want to animate this to go out here to this one. Whatever you, you can do, go straight here. You can make it go around, like move it, like go first to one other picture and then go slide to the end picture. And basically the way you animate this is by just simply animating the translate group right here. Then you go as many frames as you want. You can either just slide it or you can um, make it go far, like behind so you can see the whole thing. And then you can slide back in. Let's see what the number that we had first was, 1.65. And then you go back in whenever, like right here, I guess. But we also have to create another keyframe here for these other stuff. So then the first animation that you have is the thing zooming out, the camera moving out of the frame and seeing all the different images that we have. And then for the next one, which is going to be, we're going to have to animate the, the zoom, which is zooming back in. And we're going to have to animate the position of our camera. And right here on the left, we can see our camera. And that's why I like to put it on the front here by right clicking here and put it front because then you can see your camera and sort of like use that to align uh, the camera to the picture that you have here. And the way to align it perfectly is basically you see the edges here. You want to try these lines that go out of the camera to fit right within those corners. And yeah, you can zoom in to make to make sure that you're accurately like right on the line like that it seems 
sort of like accurate, I guess. And then from there, you simply just slide to whichever side you want to. We're going to go this to this side. Whoop. It's a little bit laggy right now. I think it might be because I have Chrome open and like a like 40 tabs open. I have a big problem with too many tabs being opened. Okay, okay, there it goes. So then that is pretty much our ending part. Basically, that's the translation that we have. It took a little bit long because I'm lagging a little bit. But basically, we have the first image. Camera zooms out. Sort of like pans out. And then it we make it go back in to the one there that's at the bottom right. It's the same image, image right now because of this is connected in the same one. So it doesn't matter. But... What you are getting is going to be without these media files. So you're just going to get the... So you're just going to get the blank files. So like these. This is what you're going to see. And if you select all of these, you can, you're can you going to be able to see the grids. Uh, okay. And yeah, that is pretty much it. So I hope that you find this one interesting and that you get some ideas of cool things that you can use this for. Uh, some collage or ads or like presentations or any anything you can think of and i'm going to take the animations of the camera out also so it resets and it starts right in the middle and yeah you can play around with it and check the link down below to download the fusion file of these freebie wednesdays um episode which is freebie wednesday five i think so it's almost like over a month that we've been doing these already it's crazy how time flies anyways uh yeah this was the freebie wednesday number five and i hope to see you in the next video here in suave